Gemma Stilwell and I'm just going to do a really quick video on all the main points that you need to be practicing when playing the Rolling in the Deep song from the Rock School Electric Guitar Grade 1 syllabus, okay? So at the beginning you probably see that you've got PM on your page which means palm mute. So what we have to do for that is we've got to put the squidgy bit of our hand near the bridge or almost on the bridge, it will change between what sort of guitar you've got and to get this kind of sound, it sounds like we put a duster over the string. So this is like open and this is what we want, but we don't want that, that's far too muted. So you're going to have to find the best place to put your hand, okay? So on your page, if you're just looking at the tab, you'll see it's an open and a two, an open on fourth and a two on the third string. So what that is, it's a power chord, it's note one and five from the chord or the scale, so we've got a D and an A in this case. So the chord it's coming from is a D minor, so that's sort of the background chord, but you're just playing string four and string three. So you don't need the D minor on, but it might be good practice to actually play the full chords. So once you've got your mute on, we're going to play those palm mutes there, and in the next bar, it changes to, it's effectively an A minor, but only the bottom two notes, only the A and the E. Then it goes to a C, a C and an E, so it's the bottom of a C chord, and then back through those ones, okay? So once you've got the idea about changing, that's not actually difficult. What is difficult is changing on the one and of the bar. It all changes on the and, okay? So you're definitely going to need to play to a metronome with this, okay? So I've got a metronome ready. I've got it at 80. The song is 100, so we're going to start slower. So if I put my metronome on, I've actually got a drum beat metronome. I just went on YouTube and put in drum beat 80, and I got this little video, okay? So what you need to do is make sure you're counting this properly. So if I put my D on, we get one and two and three So it's, you have to change on that and, okay? So I'm not going to play that for you. I'm just This is just showing you some tips of what to do that you can do at home, okay? So if you need to put your metronome on 70, on 60, absolutely fine. But if it's not on, you're likely not to count and you'll put them all on the wrong beats and then they'll all be in the wrong place. So from the beginning, make sure you're doing that with a metronome, okay? Uh, the next section, section B, we've got some power chords. So we're actually playing power chords for the whole bit. We've got a B flat, we've got a C, we've got an A, we've got a B flat. The main thing to just make sure you're doing on that one is you can hear two really clear notes there, not just one, okay? They need to be the same. So that, that's quite easy once you've done that bit. And then the bit down the bottom, a little tip here, is we've got the A minor again, and then we're playing up an a chord so what we could do is actually put an A chord on from bar I'm just checking on my music here on bar 15 you could put an A chord on and you could do the bottom so you just do that power chord bit one and two and three and four and one and two and three four okay so you can have that sort of preset the next bit is sort of the opposite of the chord we've got a D minor chord but instead of playing the bottom two we're just playing the top two, okay? To see if you can lean your hand on the strings a bit like when you're picking. If you want to put the full chord on, that's what I do. In case I accidentally hit a wrong string, we don't need to with the C. Okay, so if you accidentally hit a wrong string, they're there. And when you're playing that C one, you could have these fingers ready on the B flat. So we've got one and two and three and four, and then it goes back to D. One and where are we? One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Get your B flats ready. Okay, so I'm doing them all down to make them clear and so they sound the same because we want them to sound the same. And this definitely do this with a metronome, okay? And then all you've got is the last little bit, section D. So this is the kind of you're playing the uh, the vocal part here. So if I put my metronome on. It's just trying to get the timing of that first bit. So we've got one E and a, two and So we get one E and a. Okay, I'll just do that again because I counted that an error in the middle. 
Okay, so we've got, it goes one and a two, three and four. So it just comes before B2. Here it is, just before B2. Okay, so again, do that really slowly first. Let's just turn this off. Yeah, really slowly first and make sure that first those two A's, one E and a two is a hold, three and four. That's really important. Loads of people hit that on beat two, but it's just for four, okay? So I went through that really quickly, but just kind of take those points and make sure you are practicing it the right way the first time, otherwise you're going to have to relearn it, okay? Good, good luck with that.